More than 100,000 people expected to hit the Dreamville Festival starting on Friday. Add in Wolfpack fans going to restaurants and bars to catch the game, and it means a packed downtown Raleigh and Glenwood South District. It also means safety and security concerns. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live tonight digging into what's being done to keep everyone safe. Haley. Yeah, well, it's going to definitely take some teamwork. Raleigh police say they do have enough officers for both the Dreamville Festival and, of course, their normal patrols. Business owners here say that they are going to amp up their own security efforts just in preparation for these large crowds. With headliners like 50 Cent and Nicki Minaj, the 2024 Dreamville Festival is expected to bring in more than 100,000 music fans to Raleigh. And Wolfpack fans popping in these Glenwood South bars and restaurants to cheer on their basketball teams. We're excited for the crowd. We're ready. Being prepared is a critical factor ahead of the busy weekend. Raleigh police saying they have the festival covered. I can tell you that we've expanded uh, quite a bit from last year. So we have more than enough officers to cover uh, the event. But Glenwood South is another issue people are concerned about with so many people in town. The district already sporting a troubling reputation many business owners are trying to shed. RPD's hospitality unit combating these problems, showing off the firearms, drugs and money they confiscated this past weekend through their proactive approaches. They're not just taking care of the issues as they arrive. They're going out and making sure that Things are safe at all times. Amy Alexander, a manager at Hibernian, says she's seen a huge difference since they started making their presence more prominent. And because of RPD, she says she's now not dreading the busy weekend. They've been wonderful to the point where they've actually come into the restaurant, introduced themselves and just let us know that they're here for us. We'll have increased security here at our door, um, but the police presence, they are right out our front door. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Now, Raleigh police say they can't go into details about their security plans, but say safety is their top priority. We've also learned that Dreamville Festival organizers are the ones responsible for hiring and paying any off-duty officer working that event. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. Yeah, Haley, it sounds like they're a lot more comfortable as far as these business owners go than they would have been several months ago before something got done about all this issue down in that area that you're in right now. Thanks for that. Yeah, a lot of people looking forward to the weekend. Absolutely.